Can you first tell me how you got started in this business, basically? Yes, yeah, so um, my mother and father, Bill and Sue Wills, ran a theater company in Ocean City, Parker Productions, for 20 years. So we all performed together, my sister, my brother, um, my grandmother, even. So we did that down in Ocean City, Maryland, for 20 years. And so I guess I was literally born into it. My first show was, um, I was a baby in Rumpelstiltskin with my dad, so um, yeah, so it's been a long time. But that's how I started, right down here in Ocean City. Great, and you went to Salisbury, and it was then yep. Salisbury State. State. Can you yep. tell me about your time at Salisbury? I, I loved it here, and I still tell people about it. I, I mean, at that time it was much smaller, it's really exploded, mm -hmm. but there was a certain a warmth that was here that you don't always find a lot of places. And um, I found that in the, not only the students that attended here, but the professors, and it felt very safe and warm, and it was a great environment to learn and to try things, and I'm forever, forever grateful to Salisbury. And what did you major in when you were at Salisbury? I started as a history education major and um, graduated with a music education degree. And you did participate in many plays, correct, at the school? I did, yeah, I did The Secret Garden, and. Uh, West Side Story, The Grapes of Wrath, and did a lot of um, choral singing with the choral groups here as well, which I really loved and, and miss, actually. <laughs> Can you tell me about some of the plays that you have been in um, in New York? Yeah, I, um, I made my Broadway debut in Beauty and the Beast, Disney's Beauty and the Beast, which was spectacular. Um, I also did Wonderful Town, which starred Brooke Shields as my sister, um, I was supposed to be the prettier sister, which makes me laugh, because um, it's the Brooke Shields, like tall, leggy model. Um, and uh, a little short show, The Woman in White, it didn't last very long. But then um, Phantom of the Opera, which I think most people have heard of that one. So I did that for four years. Oh, that's incredible. Yeah. So what are you doing now? Are you still up in New York? Or are you? I am still in New York. I'm mostly mom now to a six-year-old little boy, um, but I do a lot of um, traveling around to do symphony concerts and things like that, and some, a lot of summer theater I'll still do because I can take him with me, and he loves to travel and loves to meet new people, so it's great. So I still am able to do things here and there. It's just um, finding a different way to do it. That's wonderful, and so. you are performing here tomorrow. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, we, we're... Um, well, the whole program is shows from, from um, movies and theater. So the orchestra is playing some great pieces, Raiders of the Lost Ark, um, all kinds of things that you'll recognize. It's really a, a great program. But then um, my section, I'm doing some things, um, The Sound of Music, A Phantom of the Opera Song, um, a newer piece called The Light in the Piazza, which people might not know, um, a song from The Music Man. So there's some newer stuff and some older stuff, something for everybody. And when and where will you be performing tomorrow? That is 7.30 tomorrow night, Saturday, at Holloway Hall, right here on the campus. Great. And one last thing, do you have any advice for anyone going into this industry? <laughs> Just learn all you can learn and persevere. <laughs>